Breaking news tonight. New claims in the fight over controversial medical sterilization plants. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. A warning about a nationwide shortage of medical equipment. A lobbying group accusing Georgia's governor of putting your health in jeopardy. And the governor working to get a medical sterilization plant in Covington shut down. Another one in Cobb County already shut its doors, at least for now. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live at the state capitol with exclusive details. Sean, it really is a tough one for policymakers. The companies that sterilize medical equipment using ethylene oxide emit that cancer causing gas into the air, but they sterilize the necessary equipment to treat sick patients. Now that equipment is used for surgeries on the lungs, the heart and the eyes. As the state prepares to temporarily shut down another facility that sterilizes medical equipment with ethylene oxide, manufacturers say the ripple effect of that on the industry is about to hit hard. The potential closure in Covington, uh, the, the uh, closure in Smyrna, as well as the closure in Illinois, are leaving a ripple effect in key device types. BD is the largest manufacturer in the country of urinal catheters, which it sterilizes at its facility. The Advanced Medical Technology Association, which represents 97% of medical manufacturers in the country, says there are many devices that are at risk. Catheters, feeding tubes, IV units, uh, surgical kits, surgical trays. Uh, those are, we're starting to see the beginnings of shortages there. BD fired back at the governor, sending out a statement asking people to call the governor's office and voice their concerns, while denying they haven't been complying with the state. This comes after air tests in Covington showed cancer-causing levels of ETO in the air 765 times past safe levels. The medical community says they are trying to find new means of sterilization. We're looking at less, in, less ETO in, which means less ETO out. We're looking at cycle optimizations, which lower the time that devices are exposed to the sterilet. Uh, there are a lot of efforts that we're taking, and in November... We will uh, bring those ideas to FDA and hopefully we can work together for a workable solution. The FDA has now set up a task force to monitor the available numbers of medical equipment that is sterilised by ethylene oxide. We also reached out to the governor's office for comment on this situation but are yet to hear back. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.